checked in with you guys and I thought since I look pretty decent, I would just check in and say hello. I just finished shooting this look, which is just an Isabel Morant jacket and can't really show you the boots without dropping my phone. So anyways, um, yeah, just finished shooting this look and I'm actually going to run a couple of errands. I have to go to Trader Joe's, have to go to T-Mobile so I can hook up this new phone that I have. I have the 12, which you guys know, but I did get the 12 Pro Max. So finally going to hook that phone up and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. I have some work I need to do a little bit later. Just wanted to check in with you guys and I will talk to you in a bit. mushrooms first and then I'm going to add in the vegetables just some shredded carrots sugar snap peas bok choy and ramen time in this week's vlog but about to shoot this look and just thought I would check in and say hello happy Saturday I don't know 
how much more after this I'm going to check in with you guys but just thought I would check in and say hi it is a pretty cold and chilly day today so just wearing my Stan Studio coat which you guys have seen before and a really cute but casual lounge set from Target I'm sure by the time you see this vlog I would have already shown a picture of it on Instagram so anyways just thought I would check in and I will talk to you guys in a little bit waiting to get some coffee and it is so cold outside it has to be I don't even know maybe like 35 40 degrees but anyways just thought I would check in and say hello and I will try to check in a little bit later I have some things to do with my family so don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get today but just wanted to say hi and I hope you guys are good and I will talk to you a little bit later sunny day slightly chilly but a very sunny day here in the bay excuse the noise hold please sorry you guys it was so noisy but anyways i am just out getting in a nice walk it's been a while since i have walked the hills around my house just figured i would take advantage and get in a couple of miles so yeah that's all nothing crazy i hope you guys had a safe and quiet christmas i'm sure most of you did i know we did and yeah that is it i'm about to go up this hill so i will check back in in a little bit it is saturday january 2nd 2021 Happy 2021. So I just finished shooting this little loungewear outfit set situation, but I wanted to pick up the camera because I have not picked up the camera in a couple of weeks. Um, if you haven't already noticed, this vlog is just really random clips that I have recorded over the past few weeks. Um, I've been super busy with work and honestly, I just haven't had the time to even sit and put all those clips together. But I wanted to get up and just shoot this really cute outfit. This is not what I'm like wearing today, um, but it's a cute little outfit and I wanted to shoot it. So today is a super rainy day here in the Bay Area, um, very cloudy. I'm not mad at the weather because it's very cozy vibes, but I don't wanna have to go out and like do things, but I do, so. I'm going to take you guys with me to Target, potentially TJ Maxx if I can't find what I need at Target. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it is rainy. It is gray. So I don't really want to be out in these streets. But for the few errands that I need to do, I think I also need to go to the dry cleaners. Um, I will bring you guys along with me. So anyways, let's change out of this outfit and put on our rainy day clothes. Since we're here and we look cute, I figured I would quickly share with you guys what I am wearing. Loewe sunglasses. And then I have on this really cute knit set from Nasty Gal. I love the cut of the shorts. It's kind of like 80s vibes a little bit. And I have just thrown over this Target sweater, which you would have already seen. Again, if you follow me on the gram, um, I have the matching pants to this sweater and I am obsessed with it. I don't think that it is available any longer. When I purchased it, it was on clearance. So I'm almost sure that it's sold out. But if it is available, I will have it linked down below. And then I just have my new 
Loewe bag. I am obsessed with her. I've been eyeing the puzzle bags for a minute. Wasn't something I was going to just like immediately jump onto because I just wanted to kind of do my research and really wait for a style um, if one became available that I loved. The puzzle bag comes in so many like patterns and prints and textures and materials. Um, and I saw this one and they have it in multiple colors. I did end up getting this on Vestiaire Collective. Someone actually from Spain was selling her bag. Loewe is a Spanish brand, if you did not know. Um, but yeah, I ended up purchasing this on Vestiaire Collective about mm, maybe two weeks ago. And I am absolutely obsessed. It does come with the crossbody strap. And yeah, I had been needing a neutral color bag in my bag collection. If you don't know, which you probably wouldn't know because I really haven't talked about it, but I have sold or had sold like 85, 90% of my bags. So I'm slowly but surely um, kind of like adding to my bag collection and just rebuilding essentially my bag collection. So this is um, one of a few bags that I have purchased recently and I am absolutely obsessed with it. And then of course, I've just paired or finished the look with my uh, Pernille Gia Couture boots. I have been getting so much wear out of those boots. So anyways, that is today's kind of outfit of the day. Again, this is more so just something I'm posting on the gram. I am going to quickly change into my real outfit of the day because it is rainy and I will check back in with you guys in a minute. So here is today's actual outfit of the day. It is cold, it is wet, it is rainy, it is windy. And I have to run errands. And not only that, but I just straightened my hair last night. So I don't have time. So I try to be cute, but also be functional in the fact that I have to be out and about in these wet and rainy streets. So um, I'm just wearing a Prada nylon bucket hat. Definitely still figuring out if I'm a bucket hat type of girl. Um, I love the look of bucket hats on so many people and I've wanted to try the trend, um, but I wasn't sure. I actually ordered a leather bucket hat about a month ago from Isabel Morant, but I didn't end up liking it. So I returned it and I always had this Prada nylon um, in the back of my mind. So decided to go ahead and get it and I'm kind of into it. It's very different for me. I usually am like a big brim type of girl. So having such a small little brim and then it's like a rectangle kind of like square shape. I'm still trying to figure it out but I also feel like it's cute and it's just like a different vibe. So I don't know. Anyways, there's that. Um, and then I am just wearing several different earrings which you can't really tell but these are all by Estee Lalonde and her collection with Daisy Jewelry I believe it is. So I just have on a bunch of different earrings and then I just have on my Isabel Morant or not Isabel Morant. I was going to wear my Isabel Morant jacket but I ended up putting on this Zara one which you guys have seen in previous vlogs and also on my Instagram. I love this jacket. I am so glad that I got it when I did because I don't know that it ever came back in stock. So yeah, I absolutely love this jacket. And then I am just wearing my Hunter rain boots. I was going to wear my Prada boots, but it was kind of doing too much with the hat. And honestly, I just didn't feel like fussing with all the buckles and the straps to get in the boots. So I figured I would just wear my actual rain boots considering that it is raining outside. And then just this Isabel Morant tote bag. Like I said, it's raining and it's just not a vibe outside. So this is a very functional bag. And this is just honestly what I usually carry throughout the week. Um, I don't switch out my bags all that much unless it's just like a look that I'm going for. But nine times out of 10, you will see me with this tote bag if you see me IRL. So anyways, that is today's look again kind of grandma vibes I feel like but also cute and stylish and if you know the pieces you know the pieces but also very functional because again it's cold and it's wet and it's rainy so anyways let's go run these errands so I can come back home and finally relax <music>
this is really cute. And they have matching pants. How cute is this set, you guys? It's like a gray leopard kind of print. Very cute, and I believe, yeah. $20 for the sweatshirt and I believe the pants are also $20. they don't do anything i know some of them probably do but i don't know i have yet to come across an eye cream that i just feel like is amazing but i am running out of one and yeah i'm just here trying to see what they have um i love la roche posay i haven't used um any of their products in a while but i do love la roche posay but i don't see any any eye creams so I've heard great things about Vichy, I think it is, Vichy, Vichy also. Um, I've never tried it, but I have heard great things about the brand, but I don't see an eye cream for them either. I see an eye gel, I don't like gels, so that's a no. So yeah, we'll see, I'm gonna see what maybe Olay has. I know Olay definitely has one. Um, but anyways, I'll check back in and let you know what I find. Turkish vibes. This is really cute. Really cute. back in the house and wanted to quickly share with you guys everything that I picked up from Target. Um, for the most part, this was the things that I needed, but of course, when you're in Target, you also pick up things you don't need. So quickly, um, this is just my go-to conditioner. I've been using the Aussie Moist conditioner for years. Absolutely love it. My hair loves it. So picked up some more of that. Also have been craving bread quite a bit lately. So just picked up these 100 calorie uh, multi-grain English muffins, got some multi-purpose spray, got some sunscreen. I am trying to get in the habit of still applying sunscreen even when I am in the house. So for that purpose, I just pick up this one from the Up and Up brand. Also picked up some tea, some of these cranberry pumpkin seed crackers. Uh, this is just like individual packs of tuna slowly starting to incorporate meat and really seafood more or less back into my um, lifestyle. I don't want to say diet, so just my lifestyle. Next up, picked up a few of my go-to Faye 0% Greek yogurts. This is my all-time favorite cottage cheese. If you know, you know. I've talked about it in a previous vlog. This is turkey bacon for the dog. 
um, picked up some uh, Simply Almond Milk. This is probably the only store-bought almond milk I use because it literally only is water and almonds. You guys know, or maybe you don't know, but I am very particular when it comes to buying certain um, non-dairy milks because even though it is not dairy, there are still a lot of preservatives and additives in it. And I found that this is just the cleanest one. So this is the one that I prefer. They also make this in a vanilla, but I just like the unsweetened. Also picked up some of the Horizon Organic um, grass-fed milk. When I do make my lattes, whether it's hot or ice, I like to add a splash of grass-fed milk just because it helps it to still make a really creamy latte. I just really like the texture that this grass-fed milk adds to my lattes. I will do a quarter of a cup of grass-fed milk and then I will do like a half a cup of the Elmhurst Milked Barista um, Oat Milk. So love that picked up some bananas along with a couple of boxes of my favorite protein bars. I absolutely love these things. I will eat them for snacks. I will have them before a workout. I will have them as like a dessert because it kind of, when you put it in the refrigerator, which is how I prefer to have it, it kind of gives like a candy bar vibe. Um, I don't know, but I definitely recommend checking these out. They also come in peanut butter. I don't prefer that one. I will eat it if they don't have the chocolate chip, but I do prefer the chocolate chip. And then this is new from Fiber One. I have seen these before. I have heard they were good. I just never picked them up. So decided to go ahead and pick them up. And I think they were on clearance too. So got some of my go-to toothbrushes. I am a stickler for changing, changing out my toothbrush. I change it out every single month like clockwork I do not play and I also have a toothbrush um disinfector because you guys I just I don't play about my oral care so that is some new toothbrushes and then I picked up two cases of my favorite sparkling water at some point I definitely will be getting a soda stream because I drink way too much sparkling water and might as well just purchase a soda stream but for now these are my favorite and they are also by Good and Gather Last but not least, I'm holding it this close because this is probably the most true form of the color. Um, but I also picked up this Studio McGee pillow. It very much so gives like vintage, lived in Turkish vibes. Um, I kind of like little moments of like grandma upholstery type of fabrics, um, but it's all in moderation. So when i saw this this is exactly what i thought of and i love it it's either going to go in my room obviously on my bed which i'm not putting it on my bed until i wash this hence why i'm not showing it to you on the bed or in the living room but i just thought this was so cute and i believe it was 22 dollars. so very pleased with this and at some point you will be seeing where i put it but yeah that is the pillow all right, you guys, so I think I'm going to end this week's vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. I know that it was kind of all over the place because there were some clips from a few weeks ago, but nonetheless, it still happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a nice little comment. Let me know what you think about my new Target pillow. And uh, yeah, follow me over on Instagram if you are not already. And I think the next video is going to be a haul video. It's been a minute since I've done a haul on my channel. And y'all, I've been shopping. I've been shopping. So I definitely would say be on the lookout for that if you are interested in seeing anything that I've picked up over the past few months. And yeah, with that being said, I will talk to you guys a little bit later.